Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and in this video, I'm focusing on the most exciting part of the Hornby 2023 range that was announced yesterday. And it's nothing to do with any of the models, the new toolings, TT120, or any of that. I think the most exciting part of their announcement was the introduction of HM7000, the new DCC control system that incorporates Bluetooth directly into the decoder that goes inside the locomotive. Why is this so exciting from Hornby? Well, the DCC market has been advancing for the last few years and manufacturers have been developing decoders that are smaller, incorporate more features and offer better value for money. But Hornby didn't seem to be very interested in this technology or joining in with the innovation. For many years, they limited themselves to offering the R8249, an eight pin four function decoder. It's quite chunky, all the components are exposed, it's lacking advanced functionality, and even some very basic functionality like CV5. It's fair to say it's a basic decoder, but with an RRP of 2675, it's not really at a basic decoder price. Almost every other manufacturer has an 8-pin decoder that is better than the R8249 and costs less. Then for sound decoders, Hornby have the TTS Twin Track Sound Range, which is essentially an R8249 with the ability to play two sounds simultaneously, which are activated via function commands. These still lack important functionality, but they were probably the most economical way to add sound to your models. They've now got an RRP of £51, but you used to get these for £30 to £40, and that was significantly cheaper than something like an ESU lock sound, which, although much better quality, does cost over £100. So for years, Hornby offered these basic 8-pin decoders, and it seemed like they were content to leave DCC decoder development to the other manufacturers. But that was until last year when they announced the R7382, a 21 pin decoder. Now, we still don't know much about this decoder because despite being launched ages ago, it's not expected until autumn 2023. And I can't seem to find any detailed information on it. So we can't say if it will be any better than the eight pin versions, but with an RRP of 29.99, I do think it's probably overpriced and almost certainly isn't pushing the boundaries of decoder technology. So despite the new 21 pin offering, Hornby's DCC range essentially hasn't changed for a good number of years and it was quite outdated. Their DCC controllers, the Select and the Elite, have also been out for a while and like the decoders, suffer from a lack of functionality and high price tags. But whilst they might appear to have been neglecting the subject of DCC control, they've clearly been looking into Bluetooth control and phone apps. The HM6000 was launched in early 2020 and it's essentially an analog controller that you operate via an app using Bluetooth. I've got a review of this system and I'll put a link up here. I was very impressed with this. I thought it was very innovative and the type of thing that might appeal to a younger audience. But even with the app, it was still an analog controller. If they can combine the Bluetooth app technology with all the benefits of DCC control, then they'd be onto a winner. And that's exactly what they've done. There are two ways they could have combined this technology. They could have built the Bluetooth control into a command station like the existing Hornby Select or Elite and had the app be an extension of the command station. So you'd still need to buy the command station and fit conventional decoders to all your models. Or, and this is the route they appear to have gone down, which I think is very sensible, they build the Bluetooth directly into the decoder. So essentially you just need to power the track, but the decoder and app do all the control. So no expensive command station or hardware, just a power supply and a free app. They're calling it HM7000, and this is the range of decoders they've announced that will work with the app. We've got six pin, eight pin, next 18 pin, and 21 pin decoders without sound, and eight pin, next 18 pin, and 21 pin versions with sound functionality. And they're calling these TXS, or triple time sound. Now we still don't have a huge information about these. We don't know the number of functions these have or what features will be available, but we do know that all of them can be controlled directly via the app. We've also been told that they can have their CV settings changed via the app, so there's no need for a programming track. We know their sizes and whilst not particularly small, they're not large and hopefully they've been designed to fit in the DCC ready locos that Hornby offer. The non-sound decoders are between 30 and 40 pounds which might be reasonable given they include Bluetooth. And we know they've got a socket built into them so that a Stay Alive pack, which retails for $15.99, can be directly plugged in so there's no soldering. These Stay Alive packs will keep the locomotive running for around nine seconds should it lose track power. And just to highlight that because the decoder control is coming via the Bluetooth app and not via the track, 
during those nine seconds without track power. Unlike with conventional DCC, you should still have full control of the model and commands will still be received. The sound decoders feature an additional socket for a speaker to be plugged in. So again, there's no soldering. And a key feature with these is that Hornby will provide a range of sound files for you to choose from and upload to the decoder via the app. So if you decide to move the decoder from your 9F steam locomotive to your class 08 diesel, you don't need to send the chip off to be recoded or to buy a new one. You just download the class 08 sound file and upload that onto the decoder yourself for free. The sound decoders have an RRP of $69.99, which seems like good value and puts them in a similar price category to the Ekonami Soundtracks decoders. And all these decoders are expected to be available early in 2023. And this is all very exciting. This technology already exists in the US, but this is the first time we've seen it mass produced in the UK, and it's potentially a game changer. There are six ways you can get this all working on your layout depending on what you're already using and Hornby has set all these methods out on their website. If you're already using DCC then you can add this to your existing setup. If you're using the HM6000 you can upgrade this or if you're new to DCC then you can just buy a power supply. But what this all means is that you can get DCC Bluetooth control for basically the cost of a power supply and a decoder because the app is totally free which makes it one of the cheapest ways to implement DCC control on your layout. There are still a few important questions that need to be answered though such as what CV settings will be available on the decoders and they need to be a significant improvement on the current Hornby decoders really. And what happens if a decoder loses power so it doesn't have a stay alive Presumably it loses its Bluetooth connection. How long will it take to then reconnect? How many locos can you have connected to one app and can you use multiple apps at the same time? Hopefully Hornby will provide more information shortly, but I can't wait to get my hands on one of those decoders, especially the sound decoders. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if there's anything in the 2023 range that appealed to you. If you found this video useful, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will hopefully see you again soon.